And a good day, all of you. John Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition today. We're looking at oh, look at this beer. Not prepared, Mr. Pierre. New by New Belgium Voodoo Ranger Juicy Juice Force IPA Hazy Imperial IPA from New Belgium Brewing Company, based in Fort Collins, Colorado, as well as. Uh, not enough. Yeah, Fort Collins, Colorado. I also have a brewery up in North Carolina as well. And yeah, Asheville, North Carolina. So, how I forget. I was about to say Mills River, but that's another brewery that does that. I think Oscar has one in Mills River. Or. Yeah, Mills River, North Carolina. Is it another beer in California? It's Mills River. It must be somebody, folks. But anyway. 9.5% uh, ABV. Um, I guess this is an American IPA or, or Imperial IPA style. I uh, picked this up the, uh, the other day at the Beverage World Package Store right around, right across the street from me. I was trying to find a good spot to do this video. Um, I was going to do it right over here at this, uh, right with this fence is, but the sun was kind of, you know, glaring down on me. So, I'm like, uh-uh. So, and I usually would do it over there um, in front of the... Uh, uh, what is that complex? Uh, right in front of the, uh, there's a little park bench right over there, but that got a little too congested and a lot of noise, a lot of whatever. So I figured, hey, why don't I do it right in front of my apartment? Hmm. So anyway, here's what the beer looks like. Not too bad, looks like hazy. Now I never, you know, New Belgium, of course, uh, known for the Fat Tire Amber Ale. Uh, um... Few other beers that they put out the triple uh, they had a, the paddle which was their pale ale um then of course there was the ranger ipa but they changed the name now to voodoo ranger so you have the voodoo ranger ipa you have the voodoo ranger imperial ipa you have the voodoo ranger hazy ipa and the voodoo ranger this juicy hazy imperial ipa so many are out there the voodoo ranger line used to be the ranger line but now voodoo ranger line so um, also they had the day spring, which was their blonde ale. So here's what the beer looks like, folks. Not a very frothy head, as you can see up top. So, very beautiful day today. Doesn't feel um, weird for January here in Georgia, but then again, not so weird. You know, uh, I feel like it's 48 degrees. So I figured let me come outside, do this review. So I'm doing it inside my place. So. Smell of guava. Also some nectarine. And some pineapple juice in this. Which is why it's very juicy, you know. That's sort of the scent I'm getting in this right now. It's my first time ever having a hazy, juicy Imperial IPA, so this is the first, so. Um, forgive me, folks. If there are people going to be walking through here, you hear some noise, people running, then just ignore it. Just, you know, like I said, I'm doing in front of my apartment complex. I've got the fence behind me. Again, beautiful day here today. So, it's quite exquisite of a beer. Here we go. Nine point five percent, but it's like more like a fruit punch I'm getting. It says natural flavor, so I'm definitely getting those natural flavors that they mentioned in this. Um, getting that pineapple, I'm getting a little bit of guava, maybe some mango, maybe a little bit of a a sweetened grapefruit juice feel to this. It is not as hoppy. So I don't know if, if, if this is a considered a New England style IPA, maybe. Now it's starting to get a little bit. It was a beautiful day. It was breezy, but now it's getting really breezy. Now the wind is starting to really pick up here. So a lot of head on top of this. Yeah. So I've had other Imperial IPAs, some other dry hop IPAs that are just as good. And you can taste some of the hops in this as well. But this one is extremely fruity. Right now, I'm not feeling the 9.5% as some are saying. 
not get it at all. So, it's just, you know, again, very frothy, very lot of head up top, as you can see. So, yeah, I mean, it's more fruit forward than hot forward in this beer. So, um, Mentioned about New Belgium is an employee-owned company, but I think they've gotten to some ownership with someone. I don't know who it is. Um, maybe they have it. Again, sorry if I didn't come prepared, folks. Sorry, but when I saw this at the store and I saw, because I've seen all the other variants of the Voodoo Ranger, and I said, you know, and I saw this one, I said, yeah, I got to get this and try it for myself to see what this is about, so... And usually most Imperials tend to be higher in ABV, you know, going at from 9, 9 point, close to 9 or 10, 8 point, usually around 8 to close to 9.9%. Goose Island has the Bear Hug, which is their Imperial IPA, that's at 9.9%, and that's really good, and that's super, super duper strong. So, if you ever get a chance to try that Goose Island IPA, you will like it immensely. It's just a little windy out here, so I'm probably going to get this. But um, but they expanded over to Asheville, North Carolina, so obviously I get a lot of their you know, beers, me being here in Georgia, transport up here easily. So Tangerine, maybe a little nectar in this, pineapple, and guava. Those are the flavors that I'm getting. Maybe a little mango. I, mean, I, I probably did say mango already. So, uh, food pairings of this obviously would be something with any poultry. Um, maybe a good seafood dish you could pair this with because of the strength of this. And the citrus flavors, I would say something with, 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 with very spicy. Seafood that can go good with this. I would say yeah pair it with that. So you get your money's worth so Yeah, so um Yeah, 4.06 out of 5 on on tap uh, Beer advocate did not score it yet. So I guess they're still I'm sure they have one of their experts or will look at some of the reviews of it and they'll come up with their own metrics or scoring scale i love when the brothers the bros were scoring beers on that they were involved heavily involved but i think they've kind of stopped doing it i remember they gave hurricane an 81 score for that dan beer advocate went to a the, the five point scale one out of five this and that and now they kind of went back to their you know number scoring you know uh, you know the, the t to the numbers you know teens you know, um, uh, 60, 50, 70, 80, you know, scoring, scoring scale. Uh, Ray Beer goes by zero out of this or zero out of that or 90 out of this or whatever score Ray Beer does. You know? And I don't really pay attention to what Ray, Ray Beer does. That's just my personal opinion. Nothing really that they do is, you know, they tend to be very biased to a lot of craft beers. They're more biased to the regular beers instead of, you know, they love craft beers, but they're biased to, you know, the Budweiser's and the uh, Miller's and whatnot. So I don't know what their agenda is, you know, or all the ice beers are high gravity, Doppelbox, malt liquors, you know, but whatever, Ray Beer, whatever you do, that's on you. So, but anyway, um, yeah, enjoyable, really good. Uh, again, as I mentioned with New Belgium, um, the beers have been around for a long, long time out, out in, out, out west, kind of trickled his way over here in east, of the Mississippi River in 2011, 2012, 2013, around that time. Um, so we get a lot of their beers here. So the ones that I mentioned, so none of them have, have uh, in my opinion, have disappointed. You know, from the Fat Tire to the, the Ranger Line to anything. And they do have a presence on YouTube. 
So if you go to YouTube, type in New Belgian beers, that they have you know a lot of commercials and a lot of stuff. They'll talk about their beers, as most beer companies do. You know, social media. As much as you hate it, and sometimes I do hate social media because I've been hacked quite a few times, Instagram, Facebook. But anyway, um, using using those platforms, the major platforms of social media, and um, of course YouTube, the video sharing service has really helped push the brand so anyway uh won't go on won't ramble on yeah you ramble on hey so anyway i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go 91 9.1 for this wonderful 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 imperial hazy imperial ipa by buddha ranger it's really good try it out 9.1 score for the buddha ranger juice force ipa hazy imperial ipa Check it out if you can get it in your area. John Anderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble Team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers, lift, laugh, and love. Hazy, hazy, hazy. Juicy, juice haze. Juice force. IPA. Yay.